If you're a fan of Walking Dead, this video is definitely for you. There are many types of zombies in the series. The Walking Dead universe has come up with their own unique nicknames for them, which is called by the character in the series, some of which are extraordinary and some of which are complete misses. Hey guys, welcome back to Unlimited Movies. <laughs> Today we're going to show you 19 zombie types in Walking Dead. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get a notification of our new video. Also, smash the like button. Alright, let's dive in. Number 19. Governor's Tank Zombies Starting the list with quite possibly the most wrecked moments in the Walking Dead history, the Governor's Tank of Zombies heads is actually not one zombie. Still, rather we're giving it a pass to incorporate it in any case. Initially remembered for this series to feature what a cold and detestable SOB the governor truly is, the zombies heads fill in as a notorious standard of the series and as a device to remind the governor, the watchers, precisely what the risky world of zombies resembled. Since the heads were all casualties of the governor's and conceivably kept his prizes or for his own delight. Number 18. Creepers Contrasted with decaying and gnawing, creeping appears to be practically kind in comparison, almost. Be that as it may, creeping is still naturally evil, and what it flops in sufficiently depicting zombies' most genuine proclivities, it compensates for in telling people they should look out for them. Although the name can't resist the urge to help me to remember the notorious Minecraft creatures, creepers are an incredible method to depict the zombies. Regardless of how fearless watchers or characters are seeing the undead, there is no rejecting that they are, truth be told, creepy. One's out there. Number 17. Biters This one keeps it straightforward. However, it truly works. Generally utilized by Woodbury members, biters didn't get on, however, much it ought to have. How do the walkers deal with the individuals when they get a grip of them? They bite. Now and then, simple is better. Alice Warren. Dr. Stevens' assistant in Woodbury mentions that her original group of survivors referred to the zombies as biters because while some of them do lurk or roam, they will all bite, so to classify them into separate groups was considered a silly practice. Number 16. Floaters Floaters are zombies that got enlarged in the wake of investing in extensive stretch of energy in the water. One was first experienced by the survivors at the Green Family Ranch in the series, where it was discovered caught in a well. Expecting that shooting the floater may contaminate the well, the survivors chose to haul it out. This ends up being useless as it stalls out on the lip and parts down the middle, the base piece of its body and the majority of its innards falling once more into the well. Ugh. Number 15. Geeks in the TV series, Daryl Dixon, Theodore T. Doug Douglas, Shane Walsh, and Glenn Ree have been known to call zombies geeks. Molly additionally utilizes this name from the video game. She says she calls them geeks because, much the same as carnival geeks who ate live animals, they'll eat anything. This name isn't utilized in the comic series, all the more as of late, be that as it may, the term has been deserted. Number 14. Lurkers Lurkers are the zombies that lounge around playing dead until something approaches them and afterward bite. Lurkers can be a genuine danger, since they can all have the earmarks of being a corpse. One of them was liable for Alan's death. In the TV series, Herschel Green had his leg nibbled by a lurker, and Rick needed to remove it so he could endure. Often lurkers have endured some sort of significant injury or are generally in sort of a weakened state, keeping them from strolling around. Number 13. Rotters This one is simply terrible. As we've seen all through the various shows, the zombies begin to decay away as the years pass at the end of the world. The name is inventive, without a doubt, albeit possibly it hasn't got on as much of a view in the sickening undertones the world has. Utilized by individuals from the Atlanta Police Department at Grady Memorial Hospital and by the Wolves at one point. Number 12. The Infected Utilized regularly toward the start of The Walking Dead, the infected has fallen by the wayside for some more imaginative nicknames in late seasons. It's presumed that the nickname is common against the CDC group members, and military personnel tends to prefer the infected. For example, Dr. Edwin Jenner as a sweeping assertion for all zombies, just as all people affected to be defiled by the zombie microbe. 
likewise utilized by the survivors in Fear the Walking Dead. Number 11. Roamers Utilized by the Alexandrians preceding Rick's appearance, Roamers is a materialized name for the walkers, particularly given the setting that a large number of the Alexandrians saw in them. As seasons pass and the quantity of zombies who are in danger to the survivors fades, maybe the expression roamers will be revitalized. Roamers are known to roam around searching for food. They are the most regularly encountered sort of zombies. Number 10. Deadheads Positioning in the middle of this list is specifically in view of the character the word is related with, deadheads, is more of one of the appealing names for the Walking Dead zombies. Utilized by the infamous Alexandria Nicholas, Deadheads lived and passed on with Glenn's revival. Just like every other zombie, Deadheads also roam around eating any organism and turning humans into zombies. But they're very weird to see. Yeah, every zombie are weird, but these are definitely terrifying to see. Number 9. Growlers Not at all like a name seen later on in the list, Growlers, at any rate, get a few focuses for exactness. The brand name Growl of the Zombies is one that Walking Dead fans and characters are very much aware of. Growlers ends up in the ninth spot because it is a bit uninspired while it bodes well. As the name suggests, these zombies growl and attack and eat your brains and make you into a zombie. Number 8. Lame Brains Some places open run by lame brains. Hey, Fort Benning is gone. The expression lame brains was first utilized in the TV scene Nebraska by Dave and Tony, outsiders that strolled in the nearby bar not a long way from Herschel's homestead. By all accounts, a general class for all zombies, comparable to the expression walkers. Presented by a few lame brains themselves in the scandalous bar scene in season two of The Walking Dead, this name never got on. And all things considered, it's a senseless nickname and is to a great extent absent-minded, given the short life expectancy of the characters, Dave and Tony, who said it. Number 7. Riot Gear Zombie At a point in the series where unlimited swarms of walkers basically didn't achieve the dread that they once did, The Walking Dead reacted to the group's expanded information on zombie executing with another kind of zombie that was harder to kill. Following around the jail clad from head to toe in riot gear, these walkers were apparently previous jail monitors. They were scary beyond all conviction, and for a second there, it looked like some of Rick's group wasn't going to be able to escape this threat alive. Number 6. Flooded Food Bank Zombie There are still several purely interesting scenes for all The Walking Dead's moody brooding and slow reflectiveness. These are the scenes that make the series a joy to watch week in and week out. Enter the Food Bank Zombie discreetly swimming through the overflooded storm cellar while our heroes attempted to gather some essential food, resembling a librarian who might have been doing some shopping before she turned. Number 5. Moss Zombie It's continually interesting when The Walking Dead gives crowds another point of the zombie apocalypse and shows us something that never at any point happened to us. Such was the situation when the not really famous Moss Zombie a walker that had been starving and stable for such a long time that it's a real sense beginning to decay directly alongside nature. With this zombie creation, we had the option to see firsthand exactly how abandoned the planet had become since the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Number 4. Michonne's Zombie Pets However disappointing as Michonne might have been as a character when she previously showed up in the world of The Walking Dead, there's no denying that her zombie pets caused crowds to salivate to discover more. Saving a lot for a character that annoyingly didn't talk by any stretch of the imagination, the armless, toothless pets that Michelle pulled behind her like neglected dogs truly set the pace for who Michonne was. Basically, she was a boss who wasn't going to take flack from anybody, particularly the undead. Number 3. Gas Mask Zombie when Rick and his group assumed control over the jail, Rick found the gas mask zombie charging directly at him. So Rick did what he'd been adapted to do. He pushed the walker down, ripped off his mask, and stabbed the crap out of it. In any case, during the time spent ripping off the gas mask, Rick made the gas mask zombie a symbol for the ages. The zombie's face got ripped off right alongside the gas mask, giving us one of the show's fun gross-out minutes. Number 2. Hanging Zombies Detecting a hanging man in a tree after looking into it further, Andrea and Daryl saw that it was really a walker in a tree, squirming and gradually groaning inauspiciously. 
With a leg bit out by walkers that apparently had turned the man similarly as he had chosen to end everything, the picture of a previous human perpetually swinging from a noose just had to be restored as a walker positively finds a place with the show's pantheon of famous pictures. Number 1. The Walker The main spot was never in doubt. The name that began everything, Walker, is a word that is inseparable from The Walking Dead. Indeed, even people who haven't watched the show before have likely known about the nickname for the undead, and along these lines, it remains at the first spot on the list. Walker is a term for an individual from the armies of the portable perished, who has come to overwhelm the world after the flare-up of the disease that produced them. So that's it guys for today's video, so which zombie is the most terrifying and dangerous one? Do let us know in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and press that bell icon to get a notification. Also, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video.